towards the Erie PA. This is the outside of the Erie Civic Center, multi-purpose arena near downtown. Inside with the lanes installed, we're ready for the action and so is this crowd. Listen. Our live telecast of this April Fool's Day Spitfire Spark Plug Open is about to begin. So let's meet our finalists, ladies and gentlemen. In our first game, looking for his second PBA title from Oklahoma City, Mike Edwards. He'll face the player appearing in his fifth consecutive finals in Erie from Stockton, California, PBA President Walter Ray Williams, Jr. The third seeded player is making his second consecutive appearance in the finals from Baltimore, Danny Wiseman. Next up is the six-time winner and the two-time TFC winner from Boma, Texas, Mark Williams. And our tournament leader owns two PBA titles from Bolingbrook, Illinois, Steve Jarrows. That's our field of finalists for this afternoon's Footfire Spark Plug telecast from the Civic Center before about 5,000 local fans. $180,000 is the total person. Nelson Burton Jr. gets split up pretty nicely. He sure is, Chris. The second Splitfire open. We have a tremendous field. All five players are champions. Splitfire has 39,000 on top, and we're ready to go with two great players in the first match, Edwards and Walter Ray Williams. Yes, and these are specially installed lanes by AMF are gleaming as we get the sincere handshake from the PBA president and one of his members, Mike Edwards, from Oklahoma City, originally from Tulsa. Of course, Walter Ray is the Californian PBA Player of the Year and six-time World Horseshoe Pitching Champion. The can he bowl. What a pocket hit, Bo. Well, Chris, he's using a shot I haven't seen a player use in a long time. It's almost absolutely perfect, even the full roller type, similar to Billy Hardwick years ago. Now Mike Edwards, much more power, his first shot. 33-year-old with one victory, came in Toronto last year. <laughs> nice little hop at the line and a little mixing action, and we're all even after one frame for each. Well, Edwards with just a real strong style, a strong body, five-step delivery, just eats up the rack on this shot. Look at everything in perfect position, the good solid cuffed wrist, and watch how he drives straight through at the foul line. Very little vertical movement with his head, a good follow-through. You can't start a match any better than that. Both players perfect. Mike Edwards. Playing to the crowd. Good boy. Listen to them respond. Well, Chris, this is a new entity in bowling at this level. You have to get the crowd into the game on your side. And he has a tough opponent in Walter Ray, who is a former bowler of the year. And we have our first 10 fan of the afternoon on the right side of the championship pair. We've seen the style of Walter Ray many times. So look at his hand position. It's on the side of the ball in kind of a suitcase position. He's taking the power out. Look at his thumb is down, and he's driving right through this area, but he's not going to get the big hook, and because of that, he leaves the soft 10, a spare for Walter Ray in the second. Number four in career earnings at 1,464,539. This is Walter Ray, Stockton, California. A couple of degrees from Cal Poly. here on the left lane. Well, Chris, all the players are crossing or having a break point about 45 feet down the lane on what we call the five board. These are all synthetic lanes, so that's about five inches in from the right-hand channel. Regardless of how big a hook you throw, you have to get to that point to make it break smoothly into the pocket. And Mike Edwards, the Oklahoman, has now three in a row. Mike's uh, wife, Meg, is back home. She uh, is studying pre-med medicine now. Keeps her plenty busy. But rooting, you can bet. <laughs> 
so Mike gets a 10 on the left line. The one concern of the players, Chris, has been the 10 pin. If you see this shot right here, Edwards a little quick with the ball. It hangs a pinch. Six pin just bounces around the 10, and they're not quite getting the finish in the bowling center today that they expected. It could be because of the humidity, the temperatures are warming up. All those little bitty factors have an effect on the break point of a bowling ball. Only inches make a difference. Staying clean. Spare in the fourth. And it's a 19-pin lead by Mike Edwards. We're at the Erie Civic Center. For just a short time earlier, bowling fans were treated to a roast. That's right. Carving duties were handled by Split Fire Sales Vice President Jerry Riccioni and PBA Commissioner Mike Connor. Today, millions of Americans are running faster with the same size engines and farther on the same amount of fuel. Millions have discovered the patented advantages of the Split Fire Spark Plug, a difference that delivers on every stroke of every piston. Five extra horsepower by merely installing these plugs, a 4.8% gain in mileage. If you're not running the Split Fire, you're probably behind someone who is. Split Fire, more power and more mileage for your money back. TV system offers the most sports, from the most channels to the best coverage. The full view satellite TV system. It's one giant leap in home television. Could you repeat that the whole thing again, please? Get free home installation. Call 1-800-778-4900 for a dealer near you. What a beautiful shot of the four specially constructed and installed lanes by MF here. And the crowd of 5,000 turning on now to professional bowling. And this man, Walter Ray Williams, Jr. The Central High School Band is back again as it was here last year, directed by Chuck Lute. Walter Ray trails by 19 with a strike. He cut the lead of Edwards to nine. Fifth of the show, both third in Baltimore. Walter Ray hasn't won uh, since the Tournament Players Championship, October of 1994. And he bested our statistician, Butch Soper. Butch finished 15th this week, consistent moneymaker. The game is on. One pin lead now by Walter Ray Williams. Walter was all smiles in the first couple of frames. You see that uh, kind of tough look he gave Mike Edwards, but Mike Edwards is no guy to get riled on lanes. Physically, one of the toughest we have. And responds with his best shot. Ooh. Next Saturday on ABC Sports, the professional bowler sure rolls into Detroit. Justin Romix, a, he aims to defend his title at the United States Open, live from Joe Louis Arena, another arena setting, next Saturday at 3 Eastern, 2 Central, right here on The Leader, ABC Sports. And this man's the defending champion in Canada, Toronto, Canada, the Iowa Foresters Open, two weeks from now. Big time ball there, Chris. He yes. sent it wide and broke it in there. Takes a nine-pin lead. Seesaw back and forth. Using the full approach. Walter Seven, Ray. 17 feet from the back of the approach to the foul line. Okay. What was that, Nelson? Well, that was a little disappointment, Chris. That's part of a game you always, always have is a solid eight when you almost throw it too well. Walter Ray with a very disciplined outside shot, starting the ball around the fifth board, maintaining a pretty straight line, a 12-board break in the pocket, and disappointed with the solid eight hit as the five is chopped straight back off. So for the president now, continuing to mark in the sixth frame. This is the fifth consecutive year that he has made the finals of uh, this tournament in our telecast. The only other player to do that was Earl Anthony, uh, five straight years 
in the national PBA national. He's yelling back up, and he's throwing that straight shot to take advantage of the oil, and the ball sets up perfect for him. Isn't this fun? Don't go away. Pins up. One ball to go. Shake it. No dandruff. You've got Selsun power. Brush it. No flakes. You've got Selsun power with Selsun Blue. Doctors recommend it number one over all leading brands. Dandruff problem? No way. You've got Selsun power. Athlete's foot is a predator. To cure it all, you've got to kill it all. Today, there's Lutramin AF spray and powder with full prescription strength medicine that kills all causes of athlete's foot. Lutramin AF, the killer cure. Nicole Bobic, Todd Eldridge, Mino and Sam. Our national champions light up the eyes in the Chrysler Skating Spectacular, next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. I would mentioned to do that this was a multi-purpose arena. A hockey team plays here. But never the enthusiasm that these bowling 5,000 have today. Listen to them. They're just sort of doing nothing on the lanes at the moment. But they're about to start again as this is our second of four arena finals. Next week, Joe Louis Arena in Detroit. And then uh, Toronto. And then in Chicago for the Brunswick World Tournament of Champions. Another arena setting. Mike Edwards takes a 20-pin lead as we go to Nelson Burton. Thank you, Chris Shanko with me, Danny Wiseman. Danny, third place, the last four outs on ABC television. You're in third again today. Are you going to change something, or what's going to happen? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm just going to go right at them. Um, you know, they, they start getting a little tighter down the back end, and uh, they're getting pretty close to how they were during the week. And I bowled pretty good in the morning, and uh, just going right at them. Basically, I'm using the same ball as last week, and um, I got a very good shot, so we'll see what happens. It's a lot of fun. Is there a third place jinx? Um, no, I'm going to break that today. All right, he's ready, Chris. Back to you. I guess. That's a four-bagger with the last strike coming in the eighth frame. Mike Edwards moves out now to a 30-pin lead. Walter Ray has a strike up in the seventh. This is our first match. Danny will meet the winner, of course. to a 20-pin lead by Walter Ray's opponent, Mike Edwards. Jedi, the horseshoe champion. And Bo does no bowling. Right now, Walter Ray Williams Jr., possible 259. Mike Edwards, possible 279. You better keep striking. Well, Walter Ray going with that straight shot just gets the ball a little left the target here. It hooks early and doesn't set up like it did for him in the seventh frame. Breaks up the 6 7 10 split, has the 6 10. Mike Edwards with a chance here in the ninth frame to put Walter Ray Williams Jr. on the ropes. And Chris, as you've always says, say, get all you can get especially in a high-scoring environment like this. Learned that early. So have you, Bo. So is Mike now. He's, after winning in Toronto about a year ago, it really helped him because he was on our telecast a lot. In fact, this is his 19th. Well, Chris, you're right. In Toronto, he got his confidence back. This is a huge shot as he trips the four pin with the two. He's in the driver's seat right now with another good mark here. He shuts out Walter Ray Williams, Jr. I know that his 
mom and dad, uh, Jim and Jean, probably uh, on the shores of the lake, are cheering. An interesting family. Cherokee, Creek, and Choctaw. The other half Irish. Well, Mike said he was going to have fun out there today, and he's having fun. Obviously, the winner of the first game, a possible 279. And his good friend Walter Ray Williams Jr. will have to settle for fifth. 268 with a spare, Chris. He could be nonchalant after he's got it locked up, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we expect high scores in arena setting. We've always had them. For all the arena settings we've had in the last year, this arena average is 243, and that's what you're going to need today to win, I'm sure. Big 268. Beautiful performance. Five straight years here with the first, the second, the third, the fourth, and a fifth. Boy, that's pretty. He's a hard-working president of the Professional Bowlers Association. Possible 237 and a losing cause and one of the great records he has here, Chris, out on the tour is a consecutive record of 200 games, 61 in a row, shot over two weeks in 1993. Mm -hmm. He had a lot of his uh, horseshoe pitching fans down at the bowling center, Eastway Lanes, last night. And Walter Ray wanted me to mention to his horseshoe pitching friends that in Wentzville, Missouri, just a little bit west of me on April 23rd, uh -oh. he'll be in a good more. money tournament. Good money tournament, Wentzville, Missouri. It's fun to watch. He's a fun guy, too. All right. The champion that he is, he struck out 237. Yet Mike Edwards has shot a 268 to earn the right to go against Danny Wiseman in the second match. This ABC Sports presentation of Professional Bowlers Tour will continue after this message and a word from our ABC station. America's greatest horse race, the Kentucky Derby, May 6th on ABC. I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, I took the high endurance challenge from Old Spice. Because I didn't really think it could work better than my old deodorant. But it does. It evaporates less quickly. It also lasts longer, protects better. Try it. If you don't think it's the best, call 1-800-PROVE-IT, and they'll buy you a stick of yours. So if you still think every deodorant works the same, take the high endurance challenge from Old Spice. Because now you got proof. Guaranteed. Split Fire won a United States patent. It's clearly different, but is it really better? Some of the toughest judges in the nation conducted trials and published their verdicts. Five extra horsepower by merely installing these plugs. A 4.8% gain in mileage, quicker in the quarter mile. There's nothing like a split fire. You'll get more power and more mileage guaranteed. You'll get it all for your money back. Distinctive, comfortable clothing fits today's active and demanding lifestyle. Add fashion, quality, and flair, and you've got PBA Tour Apparel. PBA Tour Apparel, made in America, is clearly the choice of champions, like PBA Player of the Year, Norm Duke. Active wear with American-made quality and style and recognizable value. Call 1-800-521-5212 to place your order for PBA Tour Apparel or your free catalog. PBA Tour Apparel by King Louis, the striking difference. Saturday. The Moscow mob comes to America. He's got twice your size. He's got a right like a freight train. I'm in my zone, man. I feel good. And puts McBride on the ropes. Hey! I think I made a mistake. The Marshal. Saturday. It's your total family fun center. Leisure Lanes, Lancaster. Let's add it up. 52 lanes for 24 hours, 7 day a week, open bowling or league play for everyone from the tiny tots to the seniors. There's a challenging 18-hole miniature golf course. A lighted driving range open all year long, plus a brand new all-grass putting course, the first of its kind in the area, a golfer's dream. Add in birthday parties, group or family outings, and that comes out to Leisure Lanes, Lancaster's total family fun center.
Boscov's pre-Easter sale. Just in time for the Easter parade, Boscov's brings you famous Cross and Windsor Hopsack Blazers. This week only, buy one, get one free. Two for $159.99. Nine different colors. Sizes for portly shorts, longs, and extra longs. We have your size at the lowest price of the season for Cross and Windsor Blazers. Right now, two for $159.99 at all Boscov's. Tom and Rita, The Real Story. Watch the next American Journal. ABC Sports coverage of the Professional Bowlers Tour. Brought to you by Split Fire, the patented performance spark plug. It only costs more until you use it. Old Spice High Endurance Deodorant. For long-lasting odor protection, now you've got proof, not promises. And Full View TV, offering up to 350 channels. Full View TV, the satellite system with the best view. Yes, nine pick strikes with a 268 for Mike Edwards. Well, the Ray Williams with a 237. So I think the uh, standard is set, Nelson, maybe for three more big games. Oh, I agree, Chris. Uh, the lanes look in great shape. I don't think they're going to change much. The temperature's ideal in the bowling center. Mike Edwards is loose. And Wiseman coming on in this next match also throws that kind of strike ball. When he's hot, he can shoot 250 or 60. I say if you shoot under 235, you're going to find a bench, and that'll be the end of the day. So look for big scores. Another good match coming up. You like this setting? It's great. <laughs> okay. Handshake now. Danny Wiseman has moved in from Baltimore. His third last week. And now he goes against uh, quite a bit larger, which in bowling doesn't necessarily help or hinder. Mike Edwards. In match play, Mike won 18 and lost six. Look at the close-up now. You get how he sets the ball. Is that any kind of way to start your second game? A 6-7. Can he do it? Oh. All out try by Mike Edwards for the 6-7 split. First split of the afternoon. This is opening frames of our second game. Here's a 27-year-old from Chesapeake Bay. Beautiful style. Well, Chris, I like this strike ball. It's one of the best. It's online with a lot, a lot of revolutions on the bowling ball, and that's what it takes. Makes that ball set up in the pocket. If you don't have the revolutions, the ball wanders as it goes down the lane. Wiseman, when he's on, as he was last week in Hartford at the Tums, and again this week, has it all going. Great strike bowler. young man with the ability to change plans because after some heartbreaks he had to rise up and now he's reached uh, the top level again four PBA championships Mike Edwards has one you see how Mike Edwards got there 42 games 18 qualifiers 28 24 match games needed that one both bowlers Nelson do a little preparation between shots well, they do the same thing every time. Mike Edwards is very sure that his footwork is solid. He's a big, strong guy, 6'1", well over 200 pounds. He's a strong weightlifter, bench presses over 300. It's important to have a solid foundation underneath you. That's the one disadvantage of being a big, strong guy. Sometimes the approaches will let you down. He's making careful preparation. So after an open frame in the first, he has come back to double to stay within 11 of Danny Wiseman, although Danny has a double working shooting in the third. Makes it look so easy, Danny Wiseman. 
Now with the 21 pin. Wiseman with just a real good style, Chris. And one of the best things he does is gets in a crouch position and keeps the vertical head movement to a minimum. Now he opens that hand at the top of the swing with a long slide. You see that real long slide all the way through the shot that allows him more release time. And when he's on, he is tough. I do like that wrist action. A slide open, slide close. That's also the bowling tip this week. Now there's four in a row for the pro from Baltimore. We're in our second match, and we'll bring you more of it after this. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. Imagine up to 350 channels delivered right to your television. All the best movies, sports, radio, and entertainment. The full view satellite TV system. It's one giant leap in home television. Get free home installation. Call 1-800-778-4900 for a dealer near you. When traffic congestion changes, the threats to your car's engine change. That's why Quaker State has engineered intelligent oil oil that senses the changing threats in your engine and adapts its own molecular structure for continuous protection. So whenever the driving conditions change, so does Quaker State, the intelligent oil for longer engine life. Now you can change to the intelligent oil and save $3.60 on a case of Quaker State. See store display for details. Indy cars, big guns, storm into the desert to test their fastest one-mile oval. It's the Phoenix 200 presented by Pyroyal, Sunday on ABC. Yes, the Central High School band uh, continues to play here. Entertaining the nearly 5,000 that have come in to see this live telecast in the second game, Mike Edwards and Danny Wiseman. Edwards won the first 268 to Walter Hayes 237. So that's Rebagger. Puts him 21 behind, Bo. Thank you, Chris. Uh, the, actually, not the loser in the first game. I just say you were defeated, Walter Ray. This has got to be a lot of fun. And you went with the straight shot, awfully straight. Uh, yeah, well, there was a little bit of dry area right out near the channel, and uh, I opted to go pretty straight. I threw a, one bad shot there at the end of the game, but it really didn't matter. I was pretty much already beat. Mike Bull, a great game. You're one of the greatest bowlers I've ever seen. One of the most versatile. Good luck next week. Thanks. And four bagger puts him within 11 of the man who is perfect through four frames. Danny Wiseman. Just so Mike Edwards, a uh, little solitary uh, hyping up. So we have a two and five on the right lane for Danny, and the crowd appreciates the fact that he had strung four. There is the $100,000 bonus here, should we have a perfect game, so two games after this, we can hope. Spare the fifth for Danny. Tonight on ABC, you're invited to the family reunion on the ABC Family Movie. And if you think your family's strange, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Then Jeff Fahey's back in an all-new episode of The Marshall All Tonight here on ABC. All right, Danny has... Found that pocket again as he did the first four frames. If you just joined us, this man, Mike Edwards, nine strikes, 268, Walter Ray Williams, 237 in the first match. All right, let's go to Nelson Burton again. Thank you, Chris. With me is one of the great strike bowlers, Mark Williams. Mark, the scoring environment tremendously high. Do you think score or do you think opponent in this situation? Well, I'm just going to bowl the best I can. I've uh, got a pretty good shot, especially on the left lane. I'm going to finish on the left lane and, and just try to post a big score and make them come after me. Well, you're one of the most versatile players on tour. Good strike ball. Good luck in the semifinal. Thanks, folks. Back to you, Chris. Beaumont, Texas. Mark Williams. Oklahoma City. Mike Edwards. 
leads by one. Now by 11. Okay. And look at that polling news update. An old friend, Joe Norris, a great champion. Today, millions of Americans are running faster with the same size engines and farther on the same amount of fuel. Millions have discovered the patented advantages of the split-fire spark plug, a difference that delivers on every stroke of every piston. Five extra horsepower by merely installing these plugs, a 4.8% gain in mileage. If you're not running the split-fire, you're probably behind someone who is. Split-fire, more power and more mileage for your money back. They test car batteries here. They test pickup trucks here. And when they test yard machines, they go here. Dave Spivey's house. MTD tractors, chipper shredders, lawn mowers, and edgers tackle the toughest jobs. Look for MTD yard machines at retailers near you. MTD. Wow! I like it! MTD yard machines, American made, American owned. Nicole Bobick, Todd Eldridge, Mino and Sam. Our national champions light up the eyes in the Chrysler Skating Spectacular, next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Yes, they skate in this arena as well. It's the Eric Civic Center, near downtown of this Lake Erie City. Friendly people, enthusiastic, and uh, that shot I love. Great champion of five decades. PBA Hall of Famer Dick Weber, he's been on the AMF staff for 39 years. He's won tournaments in five decades, spanning back from the 50s through the 90s. Now Danny Wiseman up in the seventh frame, trails by 11, can cut the lead of Mike Edwards to one. Chris, when he throws his good shot, it looks so pretty. It looks like he just walked down there right in front of the pocket and just put the ball and placed it by hand right in front of the pins. This is our 34th consecutive season. Way back, we had arena bowling in Mobile and then at the Felt Forum at Madison Square Garden. Isn't that a picture? Well, Chris, those are perfect strikes. If you look, obviously a strike's a strike, but all 10 pins disappear. You watch a lot of strikes, and, and it's wonderful to have power, but he just lays them down perfect. There is, he could have had four-pound logs down there, and he'd have knocked them over. Right now, Mike Edwards, trails by nine, can retake the lead. Has not missed striking on the right-hand lane. He's nine for nine. Look at Edwards. Strike. Mike just making sure of his shoes, just wiping them off. You have to have nothing of residue that can be left on the approach on your shoes. It's against the rules, and he just makes sure they're smooth, gets a good, solid footing. He's a big, strong man. He can't afford to have those feet slip as he gets the ball snapping on the downswing. Right now, can take an 11-pin lead, ninth frame. Uh, the young man that played ju junior high school football decided that bowling might be better. That strike by Edwards forces Wiseman to continue to strike. Danny Wiseman, 10th telecast, 230 average when he's on TV. He's won 14 and lost five. Woo. Chris, this will be the highest scoring match of the season if either one of the players just does anything in the 10th, a possible 279 for Mike Edwards on top of that opening 268. Wiseman, a possible 278. It is not over, and we have not had a tie match on ABC this year. This is close. Well, he's put together now five. He opened with four. Mike Edwards uh, had an open in the first, and has been striking ever since. 
The good wrist action. Arm close to his body, snaps that ball in an upward moment, movement just like a baseball pitcher would throw a curveball in a downward movement. Right now he's pushing himself in a position where he can shoot 278. He cannot shut out Edwards. Second ball in the tenth. Fantastic bowling at an exciting setting. Well, those two shots have forced Mike Edwards to strike on the next two balls minimum, and if indeed Wiseman strikes here for 278, Edwards would need them all for a victory, two and nine for a tie. Anything less, he would not win. Talk about applying the pressure with a 278. You've just seen it. The situation for Mike Edwards, who has not missed striking on this lane, is he must strike on the next three balls to win. Big load. Edwards must strike on this lane three times to win the match. Still perfect on that right lane, Nelson. And he has to continue, partner. I said in our little meeting before we went on the air, I believe that we're either going to have a nine strikes in a row in today's action. We already have nine by Edwards, although it's nine after an open frame, and mm -hmm. I thought we might have a tie match. The situation to create a tie would be a strike here for Edwards and nine on the fill ball. The players would tie at 278. However, Edwards must strike on this ball to have any chance of winning the match. said bowling wasn't exciting. In a physical game, Chris, that's where all the hours and days he spent in the weight room to get up to be a plus 300 pound bench presser. Under the gun there, he muscles the ball in there and he's put himself in this position. Strike, he wins. Nine's a tie. Eight, he loses. This is like shooting 64 on a major golf course. Can't afford to miss this putt. to have that shot back. What a victory for Danny Wiseman. Wow. So, Mike has to uh, be consoled by $12,000, but knowing Mike and Mark Williams, look at that gesture. Congratulating Mike on a fantastic game. Here's a shot that Mike just gets a little more speed on it. It hangs, it hangs, it looks like it's going to flip. At least nine out of this, please. That head pin could have taken out the eight pin and had a tie. Now watch the head pin. It goes to the left sideboard. More often than not, that head pin will take out both the four, seven, and eight. Edwards doesn't get the break on the eight pin to have a tie match. He goes down to defeat 277, 278. Our second game and coming up, Mark Williams will take on Danny Wiseman. This week's Choice Hotels Tip of the Week features Don Johnson with some adjustment advice. ABC Sports presents a winning never gets old bowling tip. Brought to you by Quality, Comfort, Clarion, and Sleep Hotels. Hey, Don Johnson. What's happening here, bud? Hey, Bo, I'm just working here with Tom from Toledo. He's got a real bad problem. The ball going with his thumb over every time. Is that something that most seniors have as we look at Tom's uh, release here? What's the problem? Well, a lot of people have this problem. It's basically seniors because they don't get any turn in what we call the turn area. Now, what I'm going to do is show Tom how to get this ball off the thumb hole. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put you a little more on the side at stance. And I want you to keep there until it passes your leg. Then we're going to open up your hand, which is controlled by your forearm. We might think thumb towards the ceiling. And then we're going to come back here and turn it back in the turn area and then just shake hand with the pins. Again, Amaletto Monticelli's got his hand right there at the top of the swing, so it can't be all bad, can it? Nope. Let's see you try it once, Tom, to see if we get off the thumb hole. We did not hear that go over the thumb hole, 
And this is going to give you a lot more strikes, Tom. Well, good. Hey, Don Johnson, one of the great instructors, Tom, just gave you a great tip, and you'll be winning now. And we all know that winning never gets old. Look for future ABC Sports Winning Never Gets Old Bowling Tips. Brought to you by Quality, Comfort, Clarion, and Sleep Hotel. There are gut balls and gutter balls. And sometimes, the trophy falls. But no matter what, you'll love the bowlers who have it all on ABC Sports Home Video, Bowling the Perfect Game. Call 1-800-4-ABC-VCR to order bowling's colorful history. Narrated by Chris Shankel and Nelson Burton Jr. This collector's home video can be yours to enjoy for only $14.98 plus $3.95 shipping. That's 1-800-4-ABC-VCR. You know, I'm always teaching bowlers how to put fingers into the shot, not just the ball. But you can also use your fingers to save money. If you're 50 or over, just call 1-800-4-CHOICE and you can save 30% at choice hotels like Quality, Comfort, Clarion, and Sleep. 30%. Now that's what I call aiming for the pocket. Travelers 50 and over save 30% at Quality, Comfort, Clarion, and Sleep Hotel. As we, the class of 95, rise to the challenge of a new day, our achievements will not be tainted by the smell of corruption. We will find bold new solutions that will not only ensure a clean start, but will also, ever so softly, serve notice that we are not a generation of slackers. We are the future, and we've come for what's ours. High scores here at the Eric Sedic Center. Split fire, spark plug open. First match, 268-237. Edwards moved on against Danny Wiseman. And in that match, there were 21 total strikes. 278 to 277. Slap shot for the young admirer of the Erie Panthers hockey team that plays right here in this arena. Bo, you got six through 24. Well, everybody's having a lot of fun here, Chris, and here's some of the players that had a lot of fun all week. Dave Traver lost his last game by one pin to finish sixth. Roger Bowker showing the conditioning does make a difference. Brian LeClaire had 279, 279, 279 at one point this week. Billy Oaks, the tough Texan in ninth. Joe Purple, a fine winner. Monticelli saw him running his five miles this morning. Ed Richardson, top player. Ernie Schlegel, the veteran. Ross Kawana. The local favorite. He's the relative of a late, great Frank Caruana, who is a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Powerful Gary Schluchter. Mike Taylor featuring a new haircut. The fireball, Phil Ringer. Mazza will be home next week during the U.S. Open. Detroit, he calls home. Doby's in there. Mike Miller bowled with his thumb and without his thumb this week and qualified 24th for Schenkel. Okay, our next stop. That's next week for the... The last major, the United States Open, it'll emanate, originate at Joe Louis Arena in Detroit, Michigan. We expect about 7,000 fans. And on to a beautiful city of Toronto, the IOF Foresters Open. So here we are in Erie for the third match. Mark Williams, first Texan of the day, moves in against Danny Wiseman. Leaving a two pin, seemingly some trouble near the line. Danny Wiseman's showing some displeasure with the approach. He actually came to an abrupt halt. You know, we checked him earlier when we checked his style in the first game. He has that long slide. Well, that long slide came to an abrupt halt. He released the ball a little bit late and did not get the lift and the snap back to the head pin leaves the two. Now, our first look today at 37-year-old Mark Williams. Six titles in his 15 years. 30-second telecast. The best just year, this year for Mark. Fifth in Baltimore, second in the Choice Hotels Classic. Well, a different style than we've seen all day long. You see him the extreme left side of the approach. Good, solid push away, a very versatile player. Look at the left side, 
pulling back, straightening up the right shoulder. Watch how the left arm comes back, the right shoulder comes forward, and that's the way to do it. You have to keep the right hip parallel to the target line. You can open the right shoulder for power. Look at that. High hip and gets them all. In match play, he was 15 and 9. 24 match play games. Now the final four games move from Eastway Lanes here in Erie to the Civic Center. As we mentioned, uh, Danny finished third last week and appears to uh, be nearing his peak here in 1995 on our 11th stop in a tour of 14 cities. Four victories. And now he leads Mark Williams by 20 pins. Or excuse me, it's all even now. Because Mark had opened with a double and now will be shooting in the third frame. Quite a bit to the left of center on the approach. Three in a row. Here's Bo. Thank you, Chris Shankel. Mike Edwards, what a terrific performance. 260, 270, and yet you're defeated after the second game. Well, you know, this is one, one time I really don't mind losing. I mean, the fans here are great, and it's uh, just an uh, honor to be bow bowling here today. You look a little bit drained. I am absolutely drained right now. It's unreal. It's but it's it's great. You know, I want to say hi to my wife, Meg. I love you. And I almost got there. All right, Mike. Back to you, Chris. Okay. Early now in our third game. Split fire spark plug open. We'll return after this. Introducing the new no-fee Ford Citibank card. With every purchase, you get an amazing 5% rebate that grows toward the purchase or lease of a new Ford or Lincoln Mercury, like an Explorer, a Continental, or even a Mustang, which means you can save big and really knock down your monthly car payment, all with the superior services of Citibank. Call now, 1-800-374-7777 for the new no-fee Ford Citibank card. Very fast back Only one satellite TV system offers the most sports, from the most channels to the best coverage. The full view satellite TV system. It's one giant leap in home television. Could you repeat that the whole thing again, please? Get free home installation. Call 1-800-778-4900 for a dealer near you. Sunday, Eddie Murphy and Robin Gibbons. Please be gentle. In a network television premiere. A revealing comedy where sex comes between the sexes. Boomerang Sunday here on ABC. Yes, we do salute our young musicians. Central High School Band, Chuck Lute, their director. We appreciate what they're, what they're doing. Adding to the ambiance of Erie Civic Center. Adding to the beauty of bowling is Danny Wiseman. In a spare is a double up, shooting the fourth, trailing by 20. Now by only 10. Chris, despite trailing by 10 pins, Danny Wiseman, I believe, has the correct shot to the pocket mm -hmm. with the most margin of error out there on the championship pair. The center of the lane is a little bit slicker, slicker and a little oiler than the outside. And right now, Mark Williams is going around that oil. It's tough to be consistent that way. Williams going right next to it. And we are even. Semi-final game leading the final as the tournament leader is waiting to bowl Steve Jarrus of Bolingbrook. Illinois. Mm. Four eight. 
Just as I suspected, Chris, Mark playing down the center of the lane is in that high oil concentration. He lets the ball slide too far, it doesn't finish enough, and leaves the 4 8 a tough spare. So now Mark is trailing by two pins. Wonderful and efficient managing director of Erie Civic Center, Casey Wells. Thanks, Casey. The eight. Second eight pin we've seen today. Look at this pretty shot. Starts the ball left to center, out to about that fifth board we were talking about. In perfect position. One, three, five, straight off the eight. Danny now uh, with four in a row shooting in the sixth frame, semifinal game. A little psychological ploy by Danny Wiseman. When he was trailing in a match, he took his time getting up there. When he's leading, he gets up right away. He tries to put quick pressure on his opponent. Okay, coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, our national champions take the ice in special performances at the Chrysler Skating Spectacular, plus the men's and women's moguls competition at the World Freestyle Skiing Championships. All coming up next here on ABC Sports wide world. Well, 11 in his last game. Now he's put together six. We'll return with more of it following this. Splitfire won a United States patent. It's clearly different, but is it really better? Some of the toughest judges in the nation conducted trials and published their verdicts. Five extra horsepower by merely installing these plugs. A 4.8% gain in mileage. Quicker in the quarter mile. There's nothing like a split fight. You'll get more power and more mileage guaranteed. You'll get it all for your money back. Athlete sport is a predator. To cure it all, you've got to kill it all. Today, there's Lutramin AF spray and powder with full prescription strength medicine that kills all causes of athlete's foot. Lutramin AF, the killer cure. Shake it, no dandruff. You've got Selsun power. Brush it, no flakes. You've got Selsun power with Selsun Blue. Doctors recommend it number one over all leading brands. Dandruff problem? No way. You've got Selsun power. On an all-new blue. Get down! Get down! The 15th Precinct is in a race with a madman. Police! And it's the season's most shocking episode. An all-new blue Tuesday, viewer discretion advised. Dennis uh, Moran is one of five to have known the thrill. Five with the winner today. Um, being a champion here in Erie, PA. Now he, along with you, can watch Mark Williams. Seventh frame. That was a must strike. Trailing by 23 here at the center. Tailgating started long before the doors opened here at the Civic Center. And I imagine it'll continue into the early evening. And the crowd tells you how they feel about leaving the seven pin. And they see a dejected Mark Williams and they start applauding to cheer him up. But that's, that's why a large group of people joining together, like at a football stadium or a baseball park, can help the players. So it's 167 through the seventh for Mark Williams, spare up. And for Danny Wiseman, six in a row, open with a spare, now shooting the eighth. Seven. 
Here's Mo. Chris Schenkel with me, our tournament leader, Steve Jarrow. Steve, you've won two tournaments, the Choice Hotel Classic, both of them low scoring, very tough environments. Now it's a high scoring environment. Do you like this kind of action? I really do. I pulled really well all week. The fans here are fantastic. This is an unbelievable setting. I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun. How about Danny Wiseman? He's right on. He sure is. He's balling great. It's not going to take 2-0 to win. All right, pal. Here's our tournament leader. He'll be in the next match, Chris. Back to you. He's just focused. That's what it's called. Had some problems in the past. As we mentioned, when things didn't go right, and they were sad. But just look, look at that. Look at the concentration. And Mark Williams finally gets another strike in the ninth frame. He opened with four. A couple of spares, a strike, spare, strike. Next Saturday, the Professional Bowlers Tour rolls into Detroit. Joe Lewis Arena is the setting of the second jewel in bowling's triple crown. Cheston Romick will defend his title next week at the U.S. Open. It's 3 Eastern, 2 Central, here on ABC Sports. Right now, Williams a possible 247. Still in the hunt. What striking out for Williams will do to Danny Wiseman would force Danny to get six pins on the first ball. That's if Mark takes it off the sheet. And Chris, this is just no room for spares out here. Mark Williams, four good strikes left, a four eight just to pinch off in the fifth frame, a solid eight in the sixth, strike in the seventh, a solid seven in the eighth, first one we've seen all day. And right now he's in the point of getting shut out here. He is right now. This is the man that won the Firestone Tournament of Champions twice. To be in the 230s, but we said 235 is a weak sister out there today. It will not get the job done. Danny Wiseman has a chance for the highest game of the season on ABC television this year. Possible 290. Here we go. Remember he had a 278 in his victory over Mike Edwards with 11 strikes. The all-time record for championship rounds set at Sayville. 1993, 250.1 average. So far, we're going to 265. The record is in jeopardy. be a finalist of course against Jaros and that'll be a match. Jaros has two PBA titles. Danny has four. Danny needs this strike to guarantee him the highest game we've had in the championship round in 1995. Yeah, he didn't want to set the standard too high. That's right. He had two thirds of a bucket anyway, right? And a boy. He had 278 last game. And this oh. game he'll be at 277 with the spare. Steve Jarrows, our tournament leader, is going to have his hands full. There they are, two professionals in the semifinal game. A 277 to Mark Williams, 235. So we continue to march ahead with the final coming up before this huge crowd. And we, we think the caricaturist did a pretty darn good job. Anybody you know? Oh, there's the matchup for the final game. This ABC sports presentation of the Professional Bowlers Tour will continue. After this message and a word from our wonderful affiliates, our ABC station. This spring, Napa is celebrating its 70th anniversary with low prices on some great parts and accessories. Pick up Napa motor oil for only 89 cents a quart, a Napa lawn and garden battery just $17.99, or buy Napa Sensatrack shocks or struts and get 60 minutes of free long distance calling. So stop into Napa soon, your complete auto parts source since 1925. Sling the proverbial hash and decant the coffee and witness the results. 
I am dismayed by the belief that an antacid in a spoon is somehow stronger than a tablet. Au contraire. A dose of Mylan to regular strength has this much neutralizing power. Regular Maalox, this much. But Tums Ultra has more neutralizing power. And while these have aluminum and magnesium, Tums Ultra has calcium. Something my body needs anyway. So if you must take your antacid in a utensil, may I suggest Ultra? She seduced her best friend's father. What's her name? Ivy. She stole her best friend's life. Care for anything? And that's only the beginning. Roseanne, Sarah Gilbert, Tom Skerritt, and Drew Barrymore as Poison Ivy, Monday on ABC. A camera, a microphone, and a chair. That's all these guys need. Talk about slamming. Talk about jamming. Talk about a little sports action. Turn it on. Tune us in. Check out your sports team, Greg Mason, Dennis Owens, tonight at 6 on WHTM's News Center. Tired of the same reruns on TV? Then get out and have some real fun at Red Crown Bowling Center. There's fun for the entire family, like rock and bowl every Friday and Saturday night. Children's birthday parties with bumper bowling. The Bowl and Brew Lounge for Mom and Dad. A great snack bar for the kids. The fun never stops. Don't forget to ask about their special senior citizens rates. Red Crown Bowling Center, where there's a good time every day of the week. Located at 2471 Sycamore, that's right behind Fluorescent Supply on Paxton Street. Remember to turn your clocks ahead one hour. I'm Julie Moran in New York. Coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, our national figure skating champions, including Nicole Bobeck and Todd Eldridge, as they take to the ice in special performances at the Chrysler Skating Spectacular. Plus the exciting and wild moguls competition from the World Freestyle Skiing Championships in the French Alps. That's all coming up next on Wide World of Sports. Now let's go back to bowling. Specially installed lanes have really produced some wonderful scores showing the excellence of these pros. Like in the first game, Mike Edwards defeated Walter Ray Williams Jr. 268 to 237. He moves ahead into match two, and then he comes against a real buzzsaw named Denny Weissman, who with 11 strikes shot a 278 to, well, Mike Edwards 277. Brilliant match to watch. Into match three against Mark Williams, Danny Weissman, 277 to 235, and there is Slutshot, mascot of the hockey team. They're standing now for this final match. We're 39,000 to the winner, 20 to the runner up. Go at him, Slutshot. <laughs> I'm Chris Shank. Well, Chris, it's been exciting so far. Just uh, something to look forward to in a championship game other than 39,000. The record score for the all-time record is only needed 430. Players only have to average 215 this final game to break the all-time record set in Sayville last year of 250 points. So, point one. And they're averaging 262 right now. And you have a special announcement for us, partner. Well, I think I, I, I know it's good news for uh, television watchers because... The PBA and ABC Sports have recently signed a two-year contract, an extension guaranteeing the fact that broadcast coverage of the Professional Bowlers Tour will continue through 1997. The first air date will be... Oh, you like that. Okay. March 23rd, which kicks off ABC Television's 35th consecutive year of the PBA Tournament Finals. And, Bo, I'm proud to have been part of them, all of them. And you have for 21. 21, a lot of years. And right now we have two young men who are anxious to see who's going to win that $39,000, the second split fire championship. Danny Wiseman against Steve Jaros. Big scores. And remember, they only need 430 combined score to break the all-time record in a championship round match. Wiseman needs 261 to break the all-time three-game record of 815 set by Jim Stefanich. In reality, 
All bowlers know that situation, don't they, Nelson? The 10 pin. Well, the 10 pin knows they're bowling for 39,000. It doesn't want to go down that easily. Wiseman, who is an excellent player, both left handed and right handed, almost of equal ability. And Chris, one note on that left handed or right handed mm -hmm. on the Pro Bowlers Tour, if uh, you can bowl just as well left handed as right handed or nearly as well, uh, you can bowl with either hand, although in sanctioned bowling leagues, you have to maintain an average with either the right or the left. 29 year old. The tournament leader is greeted by a 10 pin on the right wing. His best this year was ninth in Ray Becker's Peoria tournament. A, a beautiful, smooth style of Steve Jarrows. He's a grind out player, very methodical, up here, everything in good position, much like our tournament winner, Jack Jurek, last week. And Chris, he's not prone to shoot the big numbers. He's a grinder outer. I think he's really got to change his game plan here. All right. And what I would do to change that game plan is see what happens the first couple of frames. If you're 10 pin, 4 pin around as Joe Bush looks on, if you're around the pocket, uh, you have to change and go with a little more speed. Jill is a promotion supervisor for Spitfire Spark Plugs. They all, they all had fun last night at the ABC Sports Party. young people with split fire that make things happen. Of course, it helps to have a good product, too. All right. Here he goes. He's had 21 strikes now this afternoon. The whole championship round among all five players have been 80% strikes out of the 69 shots leading in this championship game, Chris. Tremendous action, and obviously you cannot throw a weak sister, a weak strike ball down there right now. So Danny Wiseman with the real good wrist action. I like the way he opens his hand, closes it, and wrist up right on behind the ball. Jaros again. He last won the Choice Hotels Classic in 1993, and two years earlier, he won the same event in Edmond, Oklahoma. Oh. So they match strikes here in the final game, rolling for $59,000 plus incentives, Nelson. And those incentives can add up to over $100,000 in any championship round. So there's a lot of extra money that the fans don't see, but the players are bowling for. But the number one prize is that $39,000 offered by Splitfire. Get up. Come on. Yeah. All right. Steve Jaros now leads by 10 by virtue of that strike. Wiseman will be up. As we're in Erie, Pennsylvania, where you know an unfrozen Lake Erie plays host to Mother Nature and today's championship trophy. Get a look at this. What a summertime treat, Erie. Pleasant in the winter as well. Do you know how much wrinkles you got? More from the tan than you thought. Fill a bowl from a Pringles can. Got as much as this bag. Amazing man. Can you believe how much Pringles you got? So pop, the Pringles don't stop. Get the great that you want, not the greasy messes bag. Got Pringles. Once you pop, so much more than you ever thought. You can't stop. You know, winning never gets old, and neither does saving money. If you're 50 or over, just call 1-800-4-CHOICE to reserve a room in any quality, comfort, clearing, or sleep hotel. And you can save 30% off the price of your room. That number again, 1-800-4-CHOICE. Perfect. Travelers 50 and over save 30% at quality, comfort, clarion, and sleep hotels. 
Indy cars, big guns, storm into the desert to test their fastest one-mile oval. It's the Phoenix 200 presented by Pyroyal Sunday on ABC. Yes, each week there is family support. Steve's mother, Helen, and his fiance is here as well, Wendy Wilson. <laughs> But now it's Danny Weissman. Can even things up with a strike in the fourth. The machine. Well, he really put the putty to that one, Chris. He got it, opened that hand up a little bit farther and just snapped that wrist dead underneath the ball. And the key for Wiseman, obviously, is to keep his wrist staying under the ball and not over the top. Both players start the championship match spare and three strikes in a row. All right, stringing four and taking a 10-10 lead. But now Steve Jarris is up. It's his turn. Jarrus Ball reminds me of one of the great players of all time, Chris, Ned Day. Remember how mm -hmm. he had that smooth, methodical style? He set the big hook out there, actually a curve, and he always carried the 10 pin so well. Leaving the two, sleeper eight. Next week, Detroit, the Joe Lewis Arena. The man with a low maintenance swing, shoulder high, inside out. He's playing a pretty good size hook, much like Mark Williams was playing. And every once in a while, they get caught in that oil in the center. The result on that shot was the 2-8 spare, and by no means a gimme. Good technique. Okay. All but one round. 18 games of qualifying. 24 main match play finals. Steve Jaros averaged over 240 on the last 24 games in rounds four, five, and six, and he's going to have to come up with something along that line. Stay in there with Danny Wiseman if he wants any chance here in the championship. Titles, 12 regionals for Steve Jaros. Now another angle for Samad, our director, really bringing you shots today. Mm. Total of 24 strikes this afternoon. Danny likes that result. A little quick with his feet, a little anxious, a little longer swing. I saw his back swing go about four inches higher. He got the ball down the line. That's why his shot has more mistake room than the players throwing the big hook out there today. And he ripped the five out to take a 22-pin lead through six. Best shot of the day for Danny Wiseman. Despite all the strikes, that was his best shot. And of course, this is his third game, and for Steve Jaros, it's his first of the afternoon as tournament leader. A perfect strike. One, three, five, nine, all ten pins in the pit. That's what Wiseman's been doing all day long. A double for Jaros and He's cut the lead to 22. Bo, well, as you look at these MF temporary lanes, you think of all the work that went into it by construction people and lighting people and our own ABC people. They're Make, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's the wave of the future. I believe uh, we're going to have a, probably 50% of these championship rounds in arena settings in the next couple of years. Right now for Steve Jaros, our tournament leader, this is a huge shot. Hmm. Mm. Well, he has that very soft speed, and it, when he gets it around the pocket, he keeps it in play. But in a high-scoring environment, he's prone to leave those half tens. We saw him leave a half ten in the first frame, and here again in the eighth frame, the ball kind of.
puts a little bit at the pocket, and that's okay when you're trying to keep it in play, but here you need all strikes. Almost went over the line, stuck in there. Okay, get that one over with. But it's getting late. Danny Wiseman just took the first re-rack of the day up in the eighth frame. Could take a commanding 33-pin lane lead with just three frames left. Has six in a row. Make a grown man cry. That is the first major mistake of the championship round today. Danny Wiseman, right through the heart, gives it a quimsical look at the approach. What happened? All of a sudden, the match is on. Wiseman lead, which could have been 33, could go down to just five pins right here. All right, partner, here's the setup. Wiseman, okay. a possible 252. Jaros, a possible 247. Wiseman just gets the ball a little wide, cuts right through the heart. Doesn't get a break on either the four pin or the six pin. Obviously, the 710 is still standing, and the match has become a game with just two frames left. Chris, a little chink in the armor out there, pal. I'm frustrated at this point. Well, he goes through the nose in the right-hand lane, and then you can see the ball wider than any shot we've seen today from Danny Wiseman. He breaks down the 2-8, leaves the 2-pin, but back-to-back -back frames with marginal shots right as the match is ending. He has opened the door for Steve Jarvis. Remember, Mike Edwards said he was drained after two games. Now, Danny, this is his third of the afternoon. So with the pressure, uh, you do wear out, don't you? Oh, I, very good point, Chris. Uh, surprisingly, he had those two opens, and he's put Jaros in a position, our tournament leader, that with three strikes and six pins, he will win the championship. Well, spares have become a key factor. It, it was all strikes all week long, and now... Jaros, who is in the oil, a little heavy. See that ball between the second and third arrows? You keep it in the oil too long, and it sails down there. And we know as you bowl longer and longer, sometimes the oil carries towards the back end. You don't get the break you want. And now both players are frustrated by light hits in the ninth frame. Oh. <laughs> Wincing along with all of us was... John Evans of our affiliate WJET TV channel 24. Ooh. Chris, how many weeks, and this is, I believe, four weeks in a row, we've seen the championship match decided by a missed spare. Here, Jaros in a key ninth frame has chopped the two off the five. Danny Wiseman can take the, the tournament just with a simple mark in the tenth. And how often do professional teachers say, practice your spares, right? Oh, that's for sure. Right now for Jaros, he can finish with 224. He would force Wiseman to mark. And let's face it, the last two frames rolled by Danny Wiseman weren't the best he's thrown all day long, so the match is up for grabs. Jaros needs this strike to force a mark out of Wiseman. Be in the 220s. Hi. Title at stake, secondary story. They have broken the all time championship round record today. It's just by how many pins? Illinois, seeking his third PBA title. Danny Wiseman, who has been shaking the eighth and ninth after near perfection all week long, needs a mark, a strike or a spare, to win his fifth career championship and $39,000 from Splitfire.
Right now, the all-time scoring record for five players has been broken. Danny Wiseman will not eclipse Jim Stefanich's all-time record of 815, but he needs this spare to win the tournament. Now just four pins, four pins. Believe me, this man has fought hard to come back from a lot of disappointments. Must stay behind the foul line. In this setting, Chris, you can get over anxious and run past the foul line down the side of the lane. So he has to be very disciplined. Stay on the approach behind the foul line. That's a lot. Prior to last week, Danny's last telecast was April of 1992. And look what he has accomplished. Pat on the back to the champion of the Spitfire Spark Plug Open. Canary. We'll be back to talk to the winner, the presentation, but first, this pause and some messages of note. We're like bowling. You're unbelievable. It's like ballet with a boom. Be the ball. I like the action. It's action. Hey, pins, you're dust. Be the ball. It's all in the beer. The grass. The approach. Mine. The shoe. You're unbelievable. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Beer frame. I am the ball. Who loves your ball? You're unbelievable. It's best right after they shave. They smell so good. And their skin is so soft and smooth. I love them. Alpha Hydrox After Shave Lotion. Conditions, hydrates, and exfoliates your skin with natural fruit acids that can leave your skin looking healthier, smoother, younger. Do men get better looking when they get older? Some men do. Alpha Hydrox Aftershave Lotion at drug, grocery, and discount stores. Today, millions of Americans are running faster with the same size engines and farther on the same amount of fuel. Millions have discovered the patented advantages of the split-fire spark plug. A difference that delivers on every stroke of every piston. Five extra horsepower by merely installing these plugs. A 4.8% gain in mileage. If you're not running the split fire, you're probably behind someone who is. Split fire, more power and more mileage for your money back. Okay, we're back again at Eric Civic Center before this wonderful crowd. Thank you. And you see that Danny Weissman has done a beautiful job fighting back to win the $39,000 in the Spitfire Spark Plug Open. Danny, I just told our television audience that other than last week, you had not been out here since 92. And I know how hard you fought back. A third last week, a victory today. Oh, boy, I, I don't know what to say. I, uh, yeah, I've been out here and I've been struggling so hard. And my physical game went, and I worked very hard to get it back to where it used to be in the early 90s. And, you know, I've been really working hard, and uh, I, I don't know. This is just too much. <laughs> we'll, give you, we'll give you a chance to collect your thoughts. Jerry Riccioni, Spitfire um, Spark Plug, our wonderful host for this championship. I think um, he has a check. I do. <laughs> uh, they have money in all their pockets, believe me. <laughs> Jerry, you take over and make the presentation. Well, on behalf of Splitfire, it's my pleasure to uh, congratulate you on uh, your victory here. And um, we have two options for you. We have a check for $39,000 or a set of Splitfire spark plugs free. So it's your choice. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Here you go. Congratulations. Good job. Good job. Boy, I'll tell you, I, I just, you know, I'd like to thank Splitfire uh, Spark Plugs for uh, sponsoring us. Um, it's 
it's wonderful. Um, George and Nancy, what a show. This, this crowd in Erie, this was the best. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, Nancy and George Warren are the tournament chairpersons. Nancy, of course, there. And here's George. Well, on behalf of Erie PA and Splitfire Spark Plug, Danny, I'd like to present you with this beautiful Splitfire Spark Plug trophy. This is it. Yes. Thank you. I, I want to, George, I'd like to, you know, this has been a great shot in the arm for bowling. Uh, we've been here five years where you have been the chair and the second consecutive year that we've done this. So hats off to you, Nancy. I know you work hard, too. And uh, thanks for being so hospitable. All the folks in Erie. All of you. Goodbye. See you next week at Joe Louis Arena in Detroit. For Bo Burton, I'm Chris Shankel. Goodbye. The executive producer of ABC Sports is Jack O'Hara. Today's telecast of the Professional Bowlers Tour was produced by Carol Lenny. Directed by Norman Sammet. Technical director, Michael Carmen. Associate director, Vince D'Addario. Production manager, Lynn Catton. Technical manager, Mike Farrell. Stage coordinator, Tom Gatewood. Assistant to the producer, Steve Shunk. ABC Sports coverage of the Professional Bowlers Tour has been brought to you by Splitfire, the patented performance spark plug. It only costs more until you use it. Alpha Hydrox for younger and healthier looking skin. And Bud Light, if you want great taste that won't fill you up and never lets you down.